you doing guys and welcome to this week's episode of Toolbox TV. Uh, this week I've got good news for you and I've got bad news for you. Good news is I heard an announcement on the radio yesterday saying that the recession is almost over. Uh, in inverted commas, almost over. That's the good news. The bad news is the recession is almost over. Um, and now you're scratching your head and thinking, what, how can that be good news and bad news? Well. Here's the fact. I don't know how many of you are old enough to remember back to the sort of mid to uh, early to mid 80s when the UK went through a similar recession. And uh, coming out the other end of that, around 84, right through 87, 88, that sort of period, there was a big upsurge in the construction industry because they started to build new properties, they started to refurb properties, and there was a big upswing. I mean, many of you will remember the character that Harry Enfield had, loads of money, um, and that was sort of born from that era when uh, sort of everybody and his dog turned their hands to working in the building trade, uh, whether it was carpenters, electricians, plasterers, and the Harry Enfield character, if you remember, was a plasterer. Um, and the, the joke behind it was more or less that he was capable of earning loads of money but without being necessarily very well qualified. Um, now that was a humorous look at the situation after that recession but the truth of the matter is it is pretty much what happened that as they came out of recession people who would never have survived in business during a recession decided it was time for them to give it a go and they started their own small building companies, uh, small self-employed trades, businesses, and I foresee the very same thing happening at the end of this recession. What we will have is all of those people who previously went back into employment because they couldn't hack it during a recession, uh, or all of those guys who are sat on the fence comfortable in employment at the moment because they're secure and they're happy to take a wage, these people now will start to see the construction industry grow. They will start to see money being injected. I think already we can see a turnaround. Already we can see that people are buying houses. I, I certainly have carried out a lot of quotes recently for rewires and for periodic inspections, or the EICRs as they're known now, um, on properties because people are buying. So there is an, in an increase, there is an upsurge in property changing hands, and with that comes the work that goes with that. Um, and these guys who have been sat quite comfortably in employment now will start to see this and they'll start to see an opportunity to come out into the marketplace and work for themselves. Um, now, I'm not against competition and I'm certainly um, not against competing with other electricians. I think there's plenty of work out there to go around. However, now is the time to really start thinking about how you are differentiating yourself. Now is the time to start looking at how are you going to stand out in what will become a crowded marketplace. So there may be an abundance of work on its way, but I think there's also going to be a large glut of new tradesmen into this marketplace and they will be basically fishing in the same pools and looking for the same type of customers that we're looking for. So we need to be ahead of the game and I think that's my toolbox tip for you for this week is to start looking at how can you differentiate yourself, how do you make yourself stand out from any other tradesman, any other electrician in your area and you understand and you know my whole belief about um, setting yourself up as a, an expert in your local area about your professionalism and that's one of the big ways that you can differentiate, you know there are other ways like producing really good offers but one way that you could work on now, very solidly, to, to build your credibility in your area before this marketplace becomes um, crowded, is to start setting yourself up as an expert in your area. You know, start looking at your website. Are you, are you currently blogging? I know many of you aren't. You should be. And, and all of the material is inside the website for you. All of the material is there for you to start using on blogs in your, um, on your website. So start blogging, make sure that you are getting articles up on your website. Now, not only is that good for SEO, but it is also very good for your credibility. To be seen, to be writing about your topic, it puts you in a very credible position. Um, start using the customer help sheets. 
these customer help sheets, again, when handed out to clients, will position you as an expert in your area. Now, I know, again, a couple of the members are doing this quite successfully. They're rebranding the help sheets, they're passing the help sheets on to their customers, and they're getting good results from them. Many of you aren't doing it, and you need to. So, again, the information is in your membership area. It's there for you to use. Uh, start writing articles or, or having articles placed in your local community magazines. These articles, again, inside the member area, they're there for you. Every month there's, a, there's information uploaded for you. So you don't have to do a lot of work to make yourself stand out in your local area. But guys, I need to stress really hard, now is the time to start doing it because if the recession truly is coming to an end, then we will see a lot of tradesmen coming into the marketplace. We know regulation has already started to uh, get easier and easier rather than tougher and tougher. So it's going to be easier for these guys to come into our marketplace and start fishing in the same ponds. Now, as I said, I'm not concerned about competition because I know that I can position myself. But you guys need to start looking at your position in your local area, in your market, in your niche. And you need to start making sure that when new people come into the marketplace, you're still the person that your customers think about. You're still the person in your area that people go to for solutions. So until the next time, continue to learn and grow, and I'll see you in the next video. Hi, I'm James DeWarn, founder of My Electrician's Toolbox and the author of the Sparks Blueprint to Marketing for Local Trades. If you've enjoyed this video, why don't you pop over to jdewarn.com and take advantage of our free marketing training for electricians. I look forward to seeing you over there.